Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter number 16 and here we will be discussing transfer function. We will also discuss example 16.7 and solve practice problem 16.7. Now the transfer function HS is defined as the output response ratio of the output response to the input excitation and assuming that all initial conditions are zero. So if we have a linear uh, system whose transfer function is HS, whose input is XS and output is YS then the transfer function can be written as HS is output divided by input that is YS divided by XS. Now the transfer function depends on what we define as the input and output. So depending on the different types of input and output, we could have four different uh, transfer functions. For example, this one here, the voltage output is also voltage, input is also voltage, therefore this is the voltage gain. If output is current and input is also current, then it will be current gain. If output is voltage and input is current, then it will be called impedance. And if output is current and input is voltage, it will be called admittance. And a point to note that the time domain version of the transfer function HS is called impulse response and it is written as H of small t. So example 16.7, uh, the output of a linear system is this value given. So this is the linear system. Its output is 1080 cos 40 ut. And the input is xt, et, ut. So this is the input. We have to find the transfer function of the system, that is hs. And also we have to find the impulse response, that is ht. Now we'll take help of this Laplace table, which is given in chapter 15 of the, of the book. And using this, we'll convert these time domain uh, inputs into uh, S domain or the Laplace domain. So if XT is ET, then XS will be 1 over S plus 1 using this formula. And if YT is 10 ET cos 40, then YS will be using, we are using this formula. So 10 S plus A or S, S plus 1 in this case, and s plus 1 square plus 4 square. So I hope you can compare the two and write this one. And now from the formula of hs, it, it has to be ys divided by xs. ys is this value divided by xs. And simplifying, get this value Further simplifying, we get this value and finally we have, we just multiplying by 10, so this value. We need further simplification, so next go to next page. Okay, so we, we were here and for further simplification we will be dividing at the numerator by the denominator. So if you divide, it will be 10 times this value. So multiplying by 10 and then this cancels. So whatever is left is minus 160. So this can be written as 10 whole from here and minus 160 divided by the denominator part. Now to put this into a formula, we'll further break it down. And the formula that we want to use here is this formula, omega and omega square. 
and s plus a square. So this you can see uh, 17 has been uh, broken down into 1 plus 16. So this will be whole square that is s plus a square and this we can write as 4 square. So we'll see that. So 10 minus we take 40 common then 4 s plus 1 square 4 square. Now this part is very similar to this one and now we can go back into the time domain taking inverse Laplace. So this will be 10 delta t. Delta t in Laplace domain is 1. So 1 in the time domain will be delta. And similarly this from using this formula minus 40 e raised to the power minus t sine 40 ut. So, so this is the first part. Now let's see the practice problem. The transfer function is given here. Find the output yt due to the input. So the input is given and also we have to find the impulse response and we should be getting this answer. So first of all xt is given so we convert it into uh, Laplace. So it will be 10 e raised to the power minus t will be s plus 3. And so from here hs ys over xs we can find yx that is the output. Putting the value of h s which is this given here and xs which we calculated from here and multiplying we get this term we need to simplify it so i will take help of partial fraction and we'll find the value of a and b by the procedure that we have already learned so just keep on following that procedure so a is minus 20 similarly b we get 40 therefore y s is minus 20 over s plus 3 and plus 40 over s plus 3 putting the value of a and b here and now we can easily take the inverse laplace transform so this is the answer this is the output in uh, time domain and now the impulse response we already know the uh, impulse response in uh, Laplace domain or S domain. But since the numerator is greater than the denominator, it's 2s, it is s. So in this case also we need to divide. So 2s divided by s plus 6, we get 2 and remainder minus 12. So this can be written as 2 whole minus 12 over s plus 6. And from here, now we can take the inverse Laplace transform directly to find HT. I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.